Hey everyone, it's Edward from Ideal Direct Home Improvements and in today's video we're going to be showing you step by step, nice and easy, how to install the Nest Hello doorbell on this home today. So stay tuned and enjoy. So let's open up the box and see what's inside of it. Do this quickly. Make sure we have everything we need. So we have our doorbell, the camera, our instructions little power adapter actually that's the installation cover we have the offset the 30 degree offset for the installation of the bell itself we have our drill bit anchors our little wire extenders just in case the exterior wire for the bell itself are short these are extenders and we have our screws Let's get started installing. So one of the first steps in installing this doorbell is finding the transformer and whatever breaker that the power is on and shutting it off. So let's, so let's take a look at the panel and find the power. Switch off the breaker. So I'm at the panel right now. Most important thing, I located the breaker for the doorbell and I'm just going to switch it off. Just like that. Let's go upstairs and let's start the installation. Okay, so the first step, very important. We found the power downstairs. We found the transformer. We shut off the breaker. Now we're ready and we're gonna start inside first, complete the installation here, and then move on to the outside. So I'm gonna just take this cover off so we can take a look at what's inside here. So we have a very simple setup here which is great okay and I'll show you a closer look so here's a closer look now we can't really see or actually we can we have two wires that are on this top screw where the front is marked and we have two wires where the transformers marked. now these two wires they use them only because it's probably just what they had it's low voltage so it doesn't really matter and I guess they put the two together to the screw only to beef up the amperage okay so let's just pretend this is one wire this is another wire you can take a picture just in case you forget where everything went now we're gonna connect the little power booster and the wires so now that the power is off we're gonna disconnect and we're gonna do just one wire at a time okay and what we have to do here is we have to trim off this wire to quarter of an inch so that it can fit inside so we don't need longer than quarter okay and I'm gonna twist these two together usually it should just be one good solid wire that should be good enough with the amperage we're gonna take our little power and the extender. So this is the wire that's marked on the front that was originally on the chime. And we're gonna connect this to the white lead. I just cut it quarter of an inch and we're gonna put it right inside there. And I'm gonna give a little tug. That one's connected and ready to go. The next, I'm going to take the wire that's connected here, mark transformer. Take it off, straighten the wires, cut the wire. So all I have is a quarter inch, if you can see that.
We're gonna take this wire and put it into the gray lead. So this wire was on where it marked transformer and we're gonna install the gray lead. So this is a real time installation to make it nice and easy for everybody. Okay, now we have the wires where they started together. I'm gonna just snip that one because it was a little too long. And put this one into the gray lead. Just like so. Now I'm gonna tug on that nice and solid, it won't come out. This other wire is nothing, don't worry about that. And now we're gonna connect these to the doorbell chime. So again, we're gonna match up. We're gonna put the white on where it said front. Just hook it on. We're using a Phillips screwdriver. And we're gonna take the gray lead, put it on the transformer. Nice and snug, tug on it, it's not moving. Okay, so the wiring, the basic wiring's all done on the chime itself. Now what we have to do is position this so that it's hidden, hopefully. We can have everything hidden once the cover's on. Our connections are all done. All we have to do is tuck everything in and make sure that none of the wires, you know, touch either the chime bars or the actual chime itself. And this one in particular has plenty of room, which is great. Now we're gonna put the cover on. So that's all done. Okay, so we just completed all the wiring on the chime itself and I put the cover back on. We're ready to do the wiring outside and that's as easy as it is. So let's go outside and I'll show you how we're gonna do the wiring and everything else. Inside's all done, the connections are finished. Now we're gonna work outside and we're just gonna remove the doorbell that's existing and uh, start doing the wire connections and install everything. And in this case, because uh, I think we're gonna need the adapter so that it looks more into the center of whoever's here. So I'm gonna remove this and start the wiring. So we're just gonna remove the doorbell. It's a little flat screwdriver. These are so much fun. Let's take a look. Hopefully we have lots of wire. Ah, yeah, and we do. That's great. Okay, so that's the old doorbell. Now it doesn't matter which one of these two wires that we connect to the nest itself. Okay. So we're gonna use the adapter. Just gonna put the wires through and see. Oh yeah, we can use the original holes for the doorbell. That's just wonderful. I'm gonna put the adapter on. Just let it hang for a second. And we got the backing plate ready to go. So the adapter goes on first the 30 degree adapter then we're gonna put this okay. we have our screws so I'm just gonna use my drill now the one thing that everybody is saying is that this wire should be on the bottom I see no reason for it I'm centering everything I'm using the original screw holes because we got lucky or at least one of them. So I'm gonna start the top, set that screw on. Nice and snug, 
so the other hole doesn't catch. No worries. I'm just going to use a 7 64ths drill bit, put it on my drill, just to make it easier to set the screw and do a little pilot hole, just to get the screw started. Get the other screw, install that, make sure everything looks good. Want to make sure that it's level, it looks okay. We're going to try it with the adapter. I'm pretty sure we're going to stick with the adapter. But we'll try it and then we'll view it on the camera and on our phone. Now we're going to do the wire connection. Out of these wires, it doesn't matter where they go on this doorbell. So I'm just going to loosen these screws. Just a hair. Now this takes a little finagling. I'm going to pull some of the wire out. So I'm going to put this, the wire on wrapped around so that it's clockwise. That's one. You can see that. And just snug this. Not too crazy. You can use just a Phillips screwdriver if you want. So we're going to put the last wire on. Make sure it's nice and wrapped. It's probably easier to use just a Phillips screwdriver as opposed to the drill. Okay, the wires are all on. I'm gonna tuck this into the hole. But you can see it doesn't have to be on the bottom. The wire doesn't have to be on the bottom center the plate on this one here because these screws here are right in the center of the whole machine okay so we're gonna clip this on now that all the wiring is done top in bottom click so there you have it it's all done now we're just gonna peel the sticker off and we're gonna take a look at everything on our phones and see how it looks and hopefully the plate works out. If it doesn't, we'll just take it off and redo it. Time to turn the power on. Once everything's connected, you'll see that the little blue ring will light up and it'll do a little chime. And that's it, it's all done. Let's take a look and see how it looks on the app and test it out. Hey everyone, thanks for watching this video on how to install the Nest Hello. Don't forget to like, thumbs up, and subscribe, and have a great day, everybody.